The first question whenever we talk about anything is why it is required. Similarly, why DHCP is required? Your house, your home or even your network, your office might be having mobiles and tablets and there are so many devices, computer, servers, etc. Now, if you want to keep it in a private network or a public network also, every device ought to have an IP address and network configuration. Without IP address or network configuration, nothing is going to work, means the communication will not happen. So IP can be given normally, you know, IP we feed or private network addresses are there. But the DHCP is all about automatically assigning the IP. You don't have to manually enter always. If your computers and the systems connected to the network are huge, you know, feeding in the IP will be very difficult. So as I was talking about a private network, these are the ranges you have to enter. And this will be huge task if the the number of computers connected or system connectors connected are too much. So your router in your house does exactly this using the DHCP. It assigns the all the gadgets attached. It assigns automatically IP and convert it to a short network. All right. So if you have a huge network, it's always a good idea to have automatic IP assignment and network configuration. So this is a network. We have certain IPs being given. Okay. Imagine you have given it manually. A computer is now added to this network. So this IP you can feed manually. For example, you have IP of this range. So you can give 192.168.1.5 to this IP. But it happens, it will always happen. The computer will go and come in your network. Means the network cannot be always uh, static. It's, it is not fixed. The IP has to be given, it has to be taken. So there is no point, there is no idea, there is no uh, say background to actually reclaim that IP which you have already assigned to that system which is already gone. So in DHCP, we have a DHCP server. It controls or it have a pool of IP addresses and these IP addresses are leased. They are just given for a certain uh, period of time. It is not always assigned. It is not uh, say permanently assigned. It is given on lease and if a computer breaks or it goes out of the network, this IP is reclaimed. It is reclaimed back to the IP pool of the DHCP server so that it can be assigned to any other computer who is going to join the network. Okay.